Empty space and over the Rhine will soon turn into a knockout. In more local news, Nine on Your Side reporter Shannon Kettler shows us how a familiar face is making this happen. When this indoor pool at the Cincinnati Recreation Center and over the Rhine started leaking more than a foot of water a day, the center director shut it down. For four years, this space sat empty, but Buddy La Rosa and his staff didn't see a hole, they saw opportunity. Today, city leaders joined Buddy to celebrate turning the old space into a new boxing facility. La Rosa, a former boxer, grew up in Over the Rhine. My dad uh, was never home. He was an over the road truck driver, and he also boxed. So, not being home much, uh, I had a lot of idle time. And if I wasn't in boxing, maybe I wouldn't be here today. Two months ago, the pool was filled in thanks to generous businesses. Renovations include new paint, new floors, and of course, a boxing ring. Boxing and recreation is such a great fit because it teaches you, you know, discipline. It te teaches you leadership. It's about health and wellness and fitness. I mean, it's just a perfect fit. Children five and up can participate. It will also be the new home for the Cincinnati Golden Gloves for Youth. The group, founded by La Rosa, will move from their Mount Auburn location. Cincinnati, of course, is home to some of the boxing greats, and this new facility hopes to become a showcase for amateur boxers. We have a, a world champion now, Adrian Bronner, and Adrian came in our gym when he was eight years old. We have uh, Rashid Warren, who was a three-time Olympian. And they're still boxing, but they're not going to box forever. But they set the bar high for other kids to look at them and want to be like them. Young boxers in Over the Rhine will be able to throw their first punch in October. In Over the Rhine, Shannon Kettler, nine on your side. What a good use of space, huh? It is. It's a terrific thing. It's always a problem.